y'all welcome back to the vlog i'm alana reina if you're new here i just got back from hot yoga it is saturday around 12 30 p.m i went to the 10 30 a.m class which i've been to like once before and i've been like really trying to go back to since because a it's my favorite teacher at my favorite studio so i always love her class b it feels good to like get your day started that way and get it like over with and C, because I'm wanting to have days where I do something like that in the morning and then like chill in my apartment for the afternoon and then do something later in the day, which is exactly what I'm planning on doing today. I am going to this like Afrobeats pool party later, which if you saw my Miami vlog from last August, you will have seen that before. I'm going to the same thing. I'm so excited. Um, a few vlogs ago on memorial day weekend in that vlog i went to one of their parties at the same hotel but like a different part of the hotel so not on the rooftop not at the pool so i'm very excited to be going back to the pool today but that starts at five i'm probably gonna go around six or so i was gonna go alone but i'm actually gonna go with this girl who found my video about this last party a few weeks ago on tiktok and asked me if i want to go with her she is i think visiting i don't think she lives here but i was like hey why not i'm down she already rsvp'd so it's not like uh oh maybe she'll do it maybe she won't like she's going and i'm definitely going because i rsvp'd so excited for that but i do have some stuff i need to do at home first um obviously green smoothie time the ice roller was so necessary i'm like still sweating from the yoga and I really need to shave, so I need to, even though I like rinsed off, showered before I left the studio, I'm like already sweaty again. And I was too tired to shave last night, so I'm gonna do it today before I head out. And then I need to schedule my YouTube video for tomorrow morning, which I finished editing yesterday. I was so happy I actually finished it. And then I need to, Oh, I haven't done my new moon journaling because I was going to do it last night, but I went to this thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. I have a couple clips from the last couple days that I'm going to insert after I'm done rambling. Yeah, I went to this um, lymphatic drainage roller massage place and it was really good. Like it kind of hurt sometimes, but it would like hurt so good. It was like a really intense foam roller, but you just like stood next to it and kind of leaned on it and like moved around a little bit. But it was nice because you didn't have to use as much like muscle engagement as actually foam rolling and it obviously gets a lot deeper. Um, and I knew I was going to be sore today, which I am a little bit, but I didn't realize how tired I was going to be after. So I did not get to my new moon journaling. I want to sit and take some time to do that. What I always do for each new moon is I have like a separate journal. I make a whole page long list of things I'm grateful for, another page of things I'm letting go, and a third page of things that I'm calling in or manifesting and it's been a really powerful exercise the last couple of years and I love looking back each full moon and then the next new moon on what I put the last month and if it seems to have manifested and it's just a great way of keeping like myself on track checking in with myself and also just like writing things into existence so I really love that it's a very intentional ritual that i like to do i did do a couple things last night aside from that for the new moon but that's like the main one i want to get to um and then i want to eat lunch at home and honestly just chill like i said it's so hot outside it is july in miami so you can imagine it's very hot and i just it's too much to be out all day in this heat so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling i will insert the clips here and then we'll get to the next thing that we're gonna do together
all, so it is a lot later. It is like 4.30 and as you can see, I just showered and slicked back my hair again. It was looking crazy. And as you guys saw in a couple of vlogs ago, I've been obsessed with this Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. Am I even holding it right? <laughs> it's literally like one of your like face serums like skincare for your body and it just feels so freaking good and it's super nourishing but like very lightweight which is so perfect for like going back out in the summer because obviously i'm gonna go be sweating and i'm going in the pool and i feel like if i ever shower before going out like this i don't want to put like no lotion on because then i feel like i'll just get dry but I don't want to put on my like super thick like nighttime lotion like this is the one I use at night before bed because it just absorbs really nice while I'm sleeping so I put that on um, I did my skincare this is what I've been using in the daytime pretty simple um, this wait I don't even know if y'all can see this the Summer Fridays um, Dream Oasis Serum. I got it A because it's green, which y'all know I love, but also because it's fragrance free and it helps with redness. So that's good for my um, eczema and irritation. And then this Cloud Dew um, Gel Cream Moisturizer. Just a very lightweight moisturizer for the daytime. So that is what is on for skincare. And because it is so hot out, I don't wanna do a lot for makeup. So I'm going to do this little routine that I've been doing with this stuff I got. I think I put it in the last vlog at Sephora. Um, I had bought two products to get their little like um, kit of samples. So it is the Protect Tint Daily SPF 50, which is tinted obviously. And then this Resetting Mineral Powder. And I've just been using these together with a little bit of cream blush, mascara, and lip gloss. So that's what I'm going to do today. But first, I need to put something to protect my edges that I just laid, and then we'll get into it. Okay, I feel like I look crazy with this, but it is okay. So, step one, we are going to put on the Super Goop Protectant stuff. Um, this is the shade that the guy at the store recommended to me. I do feel like it's a little bit dark on my skin. But um, as you'll see after I like actually get dressed, it does match my body color, so I feel like it's probably fine. Also, it's very sheer, so it ends up blending in and looking like a decent shade match. Now, normally when I do foundation, I will apply it with this brush and then use a clean, damp beauty blender to like make sure it's blended in well. But I'm feeling lazy, so I'm just going to use this to like dab it in and kind of blend it out. Okay, next is concealer, and because I'm feeling super lazy, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on and then use this little sponge thing on the other side to blend it in, which honestly is not like the best application, but if you're lazy like me or you're in a rush or you're just taking this on the go, this is perfect. And honestly, it is like a pretty close shade match for my skin. So I don't think it's gonna be like that obvious if it's not blended in perfectly, as though if it were like um, a super light shade, that would probably be more obvious. And I'm like really annoyed because I know I keep talking about this eczema or whatever it is, but it started off like just around my nose and mouth. And then over the months, it has spread to like up here between my eyebrows. And now it's like even on my eyelids, which is driving me insane because I'm just like, can you go away already? Like, my skin was so perfect last summer and pretty much like the rest of my life. Just like very clear, very smooth, like no skin issues. And I was just looking at this video I posted today for my friend's birthday from like exactly a year ago and my skin was perfect. <laughs> like, I just want it back. I don't, I'm doing everything right. Like, can we just get back to that please? Okay, next I'm going to do this cream blush and I'm going to be doing this little mini, so you can see, this little like rare beauty blush in the shade Joy. And I love that they make these, I think, well I don't think they do all shades, but they do more shades in minis now, which is great because these things last forever. So I don't like having to buy the big one and I just like mini things anyways. So I love that they offer that now, but this has been a really pretty shade for summer. Just a nice 
warm coral that looks pretty neutral on my skin tone um like it doesn't pop that brightly but it still just kind of like brings some color to my face instead of just having like all bronzy like neutral colors okay next i'm gonna use this super goop setting powder it's really cool um you open it and then you kind of like turn it on to like allow the powder to come through and then you press this down and then you shake it and it comes out this thing in the middle so then i just kind of dab it all over my face to set the spf and the other um cream things i just put on which obviously as you saw was just concealer and blush but i like this because the spf tint thing is like pretty has like a pretty greasy finish which is totally fine because it's sunscreen so you know that makes sense but if i'm gonna be out all day it's nice to have a little bit more of like uh, not matte finish, I don't like matte, so I want it to be glowy, but just like tone it down a little bit, you know? And then, this will be my first time taking it out with me, but I'm gonna bring it with me to the event so that if I get super sweaty, I can just like use this again and get it all under control. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, I'm gonna do some mascara. And like I said earlier, I'm going to do lip gloss, but I'll probably do that later when I'm like ready to go either um, before I leave so I can take a mirror selfie or when I like, or I mean, obviously both um, when I get there and I'm like ready to go in. So this will be my last step here. Okay, actually I forgot I really wanted to do... Um, some brown wing liner, which is like my go-to. So hopefully I can do that without messing up the mascara I just put on. Okay, so this is the final look. Obviously green, you already know, and I'm really obsessed with it. I think it's super cute for a rooftop pool party, Afro Beats party, which is what I'm going to. And I think the makeup came out cute and glowy, but still pretty simple and minimal. I am just wearing some rubber slides because anytime I know I'm going to get my feet wet, I don't like wearing nice shoes, so I'm just going to keep these on. And I'm actually going to wear a different cover-up to go there because I don't know how far I'm going to have to park. And I definitely don't want to be walking back to my car at night alone in this, so... We will keep it a little bit more covered up and then when we get up there i'll take it off get in the pool and then put this on after until i leave so let's head out and go have Pretty some well. fun Happy Sunday. I am sitting here with my lemon water. It's about 8.30 and I need to get ready and leave soon for my event. It's called Coffee and Chill. It's literally coffee and cold plunges. Luckily they have matcha too because y'all know I don't drink coffee even though I kind of wish I could. So I'm sitting here like trying to decide if I want to eat breakfast before I go but I think that I don't really want to spend the time doing that and I also don't really want to be like full and bloated because I'm going to be in not a bikini but like a cutout swimsuit and i was so bloated and uncomfortable yesterday i was like i don't want to do that again 
but yesterday was so much fun i had such a good time at the pool party after beats thing i had been to the same party last summer in august and then i went to one of their other parties on memorial day weekend but like at a different level not at the pool i definitely like the pool way better because obviously going in the pool is just a vibe it's miami it's summer like that is such a vibe but it was nice because i was supposed to meet up with this girl who said she was going to get there at 6 30. i got there at 6. she didn't pull up till eight o'clock so thankfully i know how to have fun alone and i feel like because i was in the pool it made it less awkward being alone um i don't really know how to explain it but you know what i mean so it was just so fun i was literally in the pool for two hours straight without moving and just like dancing whining grinding shaking my ass like so much fun definitely got some fun content as y'all saw um and then it was so crazy because right as i got out of the pool at eight when they kicked everyone out i was like <laughs> in the corner trying to towel off and this girl comes over who for a split second I thought was the girl I was meeting up with because the girl I was supposed to meet up with, we met through TikTok, so we haven't met yet. And then I saw it wasn't her, but then we started talking anyways, and I ended up making friends with her and spending the rest of the night with her as well. So that was really cool. And then she was like talking to one of her guy friends who ended up coming with us to get food after, and they were just both really cool. So really enjoyed the party overall, had a really good time. And I ended up leaving and getting home a little bit later than I wanted, but I still was in bed before midnight, so that is a great thing. And now, like I said, I'm about to get ready to head out. The event is at 10, but it's in South Beach, so I have to leave at like 9. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to one of these events because it's kind of a big production for me to get out on the early side. Like, I wake up early. I woke up at 7 today. But for me to get somewhere at 10 means that I have to like cut stuff out of my morning routine, which I do not like to do. I like having my nice slow morning with my whole morning routine and then taking my time to head out. Yesterday I went to yoga at 1030, but because it's closer, I didn't have to leave until 10. So that was like not as much of a struggle, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. I'm very excited and obviously I'll bring you all along with me. So I will see you all there. First coffee and chill. <laughs>
Hey y'all, happy Monday. I had the longest but most fun day ever yesterday. I was literally out of the house for over 12 hours, which is why I did not stop to check in with y'all or say goodnight or anything because I was just literally outside. But it was so much fun. As y'all saw, I made some friends at the coffee and chill event. And then I went with them to grab lunch. And then we met up with this guy that we met at the event at Soho House. And it was so much fun. He was just so cool and sweet and nice and generous. And like his other girlfriend came and she was hanging out with us. And like everyone was just so funny. We were laughing so much all day. It was just such a good time. And it was one of those days where you're just spontaneous, going with the flow, meeting new people, like going wherever the wind takes you and having the best time. So I love days like that, that are spontaneous. And I feel like it was such like a Miami day. Like we started off with that wellness event and then we went to get lunch at Puerto Vida and then we went to Soho house. So like, it was just a vibe. And like I said, I had such a good time. Don't really know how many more ways I can say that. But today is Monday, it's my reset day. So I am gonna end this vlog here so I can start editing it and working on some other stuff, cleaning up the house doing some other stuff for my career business stuff. So I will check in with y'all on the next video, but I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I had filming it. And I hope you come back for the next one and I'll see you there. Bye.